Hello and welcome to another part in our AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Ultimate course. We are starting with question number 539 in this part of our series. A user needs to perform a one-time backup of an Amazon EBS volume that is attached to an Amazon EC2 instance. What is the most operationally efficient way to perform this backup? Your options are attach another EBS volume to the EC2 instance and copy the contents. Copy the EBS volume to a server that is running outside AWS and is connected with the AWS Direct Connect. Create an EBS snapshot of the volume. Create a custom script to copy the EBS file contents to Amazon S3. Now friends, EBS snapshots are incremental backups of your volume stored in Amazon S3. They are fully managed by AWS, easy to create and do not require additional infrastructure or manual copying. Next question. Which AWS service enables users to create copies of resources across AWS regions? Your options are Amazon Elastic Cache, AWS CloudFormation, AWS CloudTrail, AWS Systems Manager. Now friends, you should make use of AWS CloudFormation, which allows users to define and provision AWS infrastructure as code using templates. You can use the same CloudFormation template to create copies of resources, for example, EC2 instances, VPCs, IAM roles across different AWS regions by simply deploying the template in each region. Question number 541. A company's cloud environment includes Amazon EC2 instances and application load balancers. The company wants to improve protections for its cloud resources against DDoS attacks. The company also wants to have real-time visibility into any DDoS attacks. Which AWS service will meet these requirements? Your options are AWS Shield Standard, AWS Firewall Manager, AWS Shield Advanced, Amazon Guard Duty. Now friends, AWS Shield standard provides basic DDoS protection. So you will have to instead use AWS Shield Advanced in this case, as it provides enhanced protection against DDoS attacks with real time attack visibility. Now folks, option B, which is AWS Firewall Manager is a security management tool used to centrally configure firewall rules. And option D, Amazon Guard Duty is a threat protection service that identifies unusual activity or threats. Next question. Which AWS Cloud Adoption Framework capabilities belong to the governance perspective? You need to choose two options here. And your options are Program and Project Management, Product management, portfolio management, risk management, and event management. Now the correct answers are program and project management and risk management. Product management and portfolio management belong to the business perspective and event management is part of the operations perspective. Now friends, there is a link on your screen. Go through the link to understand all the different capabilities that are included in governance perspective of AWS Cloud Adoption Framework. Let's look at question number 543. A company with many remote global locations need to upload 100 GB of data daily to its Amazon S3 data lake. The remote locations experience high latency uploading data and need to find a solution to improve performance. Which AWS service or feature will meet these requirements? Your options are AWS Snowball, AWS Storage Gateway, AWS Database Migration Service, and S3 Transfer Acceleration. Now friends, Amazon S3 Transfer Acceleration is designed to speed up uploads and downloads to Amazon S3 over long distances and high latency networks by routing traffic through the AWS Global Edge Network. Now folks, AWS Snowball is best for offline bulk data transfer and is not practical for daily 100 GB uploads. AWS Storage Gateway is used for hybrid cloud storage solutions and AWS Database Migration Service is used for database migrations. Next question. Why are AWS CloudFormation templates used? 
your options are to reduce provisioning time by using automation to transfer existing infrastructure to another company to reuse on premise infrastructure in the aws cloud to deploy large infrastructure with no cost implications now folks aws cloud formation templates are used to define infrastructure as code allowing you to automate the provisioning of aws resources like ec2 vpc im role which ensures consistent and repeatable deployments resulting into reduced manual effort and provisioning time now friends while cloud formation itself is free resources provisioned by it incur normal aws costs next question a company wants a service that will discover the company's sensitive data on aws and identify potential exposure of the data which aws service will meet these requirements in the least amount of time your options are aws glue amazon poly amazon macy aws secrets manager now friends aws glue is a data integration and etl service it helps prepare and transform data but does not specialize in discovering sensitive data or assessing exposure risks option b amazon poly is a text to speech service and has no relation to data discovery or security Amazon Macy is a security service that automatically discovers, classifies and protects sensitive data such as personally identifiable information in AWS making it a correct choice. It uses machine learning to analyze data stored in Amazon S3 and identifies potential data exposure risks quickly. And friends, the remaining service AWS Secrets Manager which is incorrect manages access to secrets such as API keys or database passwords. friends if you are liking the content do not forget to hit the like button and subscribe the channel let's look at question number 546 before we proceed folks i would like to introduce you to my top mate profile if you are seeking guidance on clearing certification exams considering a career transition into devops or cloud computing or require support with resume reviews or mock interviews you can easily schedule a one to one session with me via top mate you will also find digital products available for purchase including pdf version of all the certification questions featured on the channel pdf will be available for download instantly as soon as purchase is completed for any specific queries feel free to use the priority dm option i will respond as soon as possible do not forget to take advantage of the tips and coupon codes available at the top of my top mate profile to enjoy these benefits at minimal cost friends link to my top mate profile is available in the description section of this video a company needs an aws design solution for a distributed system the system's components need to be set up so that one system component cannot negatively impact another component which aws architectural best practice will meet this requirement your options are use request throttling use a stateful service implement automatic data backups implement loose coupling request throttling helps control traffic and protect apis but does not ensure component independence Using a stateful service can increase dependency between components and make scaling harder so another incorrect choice Implementing automatic data backups is good for data protection but unrelated to isolating component impacts in distributed systems Folks loose coupling which is the correct answer is an AWS architectural best practice that ensures system components are independent meaning that a failure or change in one component does not cascade to others and it's easier to scale maintain and troubleshoot Next question A company is building a business intelligence solution using Amazon Redshift The company wants to use an AWS service to create interactive dashboards and not pay any upfront costs for it. Which service should the company use? Your options are Amazon CloudWatch, AWS Personal Health Dashboard, AWS Service Catalog, Amazon QuickSight. 
Now, folks, whenever you see mention about dashboards in AWS, then straight away look for Amazon QuickSight in the list of options. QuickSight is a business intelligence service that allows you to create interactive dashboards and visualizations, natively connects to Amazon Redshift and other AWS data sources, and you pay only for what you use, meaning no upfront costs. Question number 548. A company needs access to checks and recommendations that help the company follow AWS best practices for cost optimization, security, fault tolerance, performance, and service quotas. Which combination of an AWS service and AWS support plan on the AWS account will meet these requirements? Your options are AWS Trusted Advisor with AWS Developer Support, AWS Health Dashboard with AWS Enterprise Support, AWS Trusted Advisor with AWS Business Support, AWS Health Dashboard with AWS Enterprise On-Ramp Support. Now, folks, we are talking about best practice recommendations here, so we can rule out any options containing AWS health dashboards as it shows health events and not best practice checks. We now know that the correct service is AWS Trusted Advisors and folks, you need business or enterprise support plan to access full set of Trusted Advisor checks. Developer supports provides limited Trusted Advisor checks, mainly basic only. Now there is a link on your screen. Go through the link to understand and compare all the AWS support plans available. Next question. A company wants to centrally manage its employees access to multiple AWS accounts. Which AWS service or feature should the company use to meet this requirement? Your options are AWS Identity and Access Management Access Analyzer, AWS Secrets Manager, AWS IAM Identity Center, AWS Security Token Service, also called as STS. Now friends, AWS IAM Identity Center is the recommended service for centralized access management across multiple AWS accounts. It allows the company to centrally manage user identities and permissions, enable single sign-on to AWS accounts and applications, and integrate with external identity providers like Microsoft Intra ID. Let's look at question number 550. A company will run a predictable compute workload on Amazon EC2 instances for the next three years. The workload is critical for the company. The company wants to optimize costs to run the workload. Which solution will meet these requirements? Your options are spot instances, dedicated hosts, savings plans, on-demand instances. Now friends, for a predictable long-term critical workload running on Amazon EC2 for three years, the best cost optimized and reliable solution is EC2 savings plan. You commit to a consistent amount of usage and get up to 72% cost savings compared to on-demand pricing. There will be no interruption risk unlike spot instances. So folks, that's all for this part of the series. I'll see you soon in further parts of our AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Ultimate course. Now, if you are someone who has come across our videos for first time, we do have a variety of content on our channel. Make sure to explore our other playlists as well.